<laughs> just leave it at that. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. So it's warmed up actually a tad bit since you were here last. Yeah. So temperatures in the upper 50s, trying to hit the 60 degree mark. Am I? Are you saying we're at 60 degrees no, now? No. From 57 to, the... to 58, according oh. to the little thing over. It's been 58 though for there. a while. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it bumped up again. I, I, wasn't, no. here. I, I wasn't gonna like, say anything. Heck yeah, let's bring on the 60s. Let's <laughs> do it. We've only done that like one time, I think, this whole year oh. so far. Uh, we should be at 59. That's our normal high. So we've been running a little bit below normal there. Way above normal when it comes to the rain, and we're gearing up for more of it. Here's a look outside from our Lincoln City camera, Chinook Winds camera there off the coast. And it was a gray day, but lots of folks out there enjoying some of the dry weather today. You can see uh, folks all up and down doing some fishing and, and all kinds of stuff there out on the beach. Uh, take a look at the sunrise and sunset times, too. Have you noticed the day's getting a lot longer? Uh, we are starting to see that sunset later and later, of course, and now it's at 734 in the evening. If you want to go see a good sunset, I think Friday and perhaps even Saturday are going to be phenomenal for that at the coast. Right now, again, we're in the gray and we're gearing up for that heavy rain that's going to be moving through. And winds are picking up, too. Winds out of the south at 15, gusting to near 25 miles an hour. We're sitting at 58 degrees. Temperatures will stay pretty mild, but with the wind, it may feel a little chilly from time to time. A light picture from our Riverview Community Bank camera in Vancouver showing the gray there, but it's still dry. Lots of moisture aimed right at us, uh, but the showers have been mainly coming down and focused on areas to our north. Uh, that is all going to change once we get through the next several hours. In fact, after 8 p.m., steady rain setting up for most of the valley. So we're in the clear for now. A few scattered showers for the coast up near Longview and St. Helens. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of light rain there, some showers pushing through there, and then back along the coast, we've had a few sprinkles too. We'll continue to see those develop and move in uh, through 7 p.m. Temperatures in the mid 50s, fairly dry. I may see a sprinkle by 9 o'clock, steady rain, and then it stays fairly steady. In fact, heavy at times as we head to the evening hours. Temperatures tonight bottoming out in the upper 40s to low 50s, so it won't be too chilly as far as those temperatures are concerned. So we have a lot more rain moving in. It'll be wet at times tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll deal with some showers around the morning. Uh, we'll have showers for the Cascades, too, and the snow levels will go up just a little bit tomorrow before they drop again. Uh, coastal areas will see rain as well, and then we get into the afternoon, and we'll have to watch out for those downpours. And by the time all is said and done tomorrow, there's going to be that possibility we could see uh, over an inch of rain for much of the valley. If that happens and that plays out like it looks like it's going to, uh, that would make us have the wettest March on record here in Portland uh, because we're not too far off the mark already. Thursday morning, we'll have snow showers for the Cascades. It'll be cloudy. We'll watch for showers and sun breaks Thursday, not quite as wet as what we'll see tomorrow. And then we get to Friday, and boy, does everything clear out nicely. It's going to be a beautiful day all up and down the Pacific Northwest and really the West Coast. An area of high pressure building in. This is at noon on Friday. Uh, we'll see some cloud cover trying to increase towards the coast maybe Friday night, but I think most of the day it's going to be nice and sunny for us. So highs today in the upper 50s, close to normal, but they'll, they'll start to drop tomorrow. Uh, get ready for highs back in the mid 50s. It'll be wet and it's going to be breezy too. Southeast winds kicking in 15 to 25 miles an hour, and we'll see even stronger winds for coastal areas. East of the Cascades, a few scattered showers will make it here, but it won't be as wet. Highs in the mid 50s. And uh, again, for the coast, you'll bear the brunt of it when it comes to the rain and the wind. Uh, rain totals could be up over an inch and a half after tomorrow. So wet tonight and tomorrow, Thursday, showers and sun breaks. Friday looks beautiful. Saturday looks pretty dry. Uh, cloud cover may increase, and there's a chance for sprinkles, but I think most of the day will be nice and dry. So some good-looking weather as we head into the weekend. Even Sunday, that rain chance there, not looking like a big deal, just looking okay. like we'd have to get through maybe a few sprinkles or so. So a pretty dry weekend. Uh, hopefully that's a sign of things to come for April. It'll be our first weekend in April, hopefully. We're going to be seeing mm -hmm. uh, smoother well, sales. I, I know you're really <laughs> keeping an eye on this concerned. weekend because of the solve cleanup event That's on right. the coast. I think it's looking nice. At worst, it'll be cloudy, a little overcast, and maybe drizzly, but I don't think it's going to be, it doesn't like it's going to be too wet for it. I think it's going to be a good day. Okay. Right. Yeah. There's information on coin.com too if you want to join the weather yeah. folks and clean up our beaches. <laughs> uh, still ahead, tackle.